there is the unknown quantity of Daniel Dos Santos, who knows that upsets have been absolute flavor of the month, flavor of 2021. Joshua Boazzi made the change to go stateside with Virgil Hunter. What updates to the Londoners software has one of the legends of American boxing training made in the short time that they've worked together, if at all. Joshua Boazzi, Daniel Dos Santos, light heavyweight action. As you heard, Joshua Boazzi making yet another defense of this WBA international light heavyweight title. He's the man with everything to lose. He's the man that is top 10 ranked by all the sanctioning bodies. And he's going up against the unknown Daniel Dos Santos, boxing for the first time in a 10 rounder, boxing for the first time out of France and for the first time ever boxing against a real live opponent as well how will the Frenchman in the red trunks cope with Daniel Dos Santos to cope with Joshua Boazzi and will Boazzi be surprised by what Dos Santos brings to the party lots of questions let's find out if we can get some answers here venomous puncher isn't he he really is one of a slew of uh, very, very good British light heavyweights. As you've already mentioned, Anthony Yard and Callum Johnson fell short against Russian opponents in tilts for a world title. Then Lyndon Arthur put himself into the mix, beating yeah. Anthony Yard. And then Craig Spider Richards, two weeks ago in this ring, gave Dmitry Bivol a run for his money and showed that he too belongs in that group of uh, five. All of them think they're the best light heavyweight in the country. And it'll be interesting to see how that shapes up over the next couple of years. One thing that is universally agreed on with Virgil Hunter is that uh, he is very good at preparing his fighters on the mental side of the game. Gets them in a very good place mentally. The reason he, uh, he stands in that position, Nick, is so that he can see the opposition corner while he's talking to his fighter, gauge kind of how they're feeling. And, and he said to Joshua Boazzi there, he said he's wary of your power already. Just telling him to just keep those parries nice and short, keep the hand close to the face. Sometimes been a little bit guilty of over exaggerating the parry and then just getting caught with a left hook around the back of it, Josh Boazzi. But fundamentally, likes what he's seen from the Londoner so far. And I'm sure that's one thing Virgil Hunter would have said is don't rush in on this fella because you just don't know what's coming from him. Yeah, well, his approach has been very good so far. Yeah. He done exactly what Chris said at the start. He came right at the centre of the ring and he established his jab right away. Oh, oh he's, he's putting it under some shot? pressure. Three, four, well, he's got him. Five, An early six, knockdown for seven, Dos Santos to eight, deal with, and that is the power that uh, Buatsi does bring. Even if he doesn't land clean, there is so much yeah, power. Very powerful guy. That he can take you down. Let's get another look at that. At the end of the round, but he knows he can sting him, and Dos Santos knows he can be hurt as well. He was shaken up, and he's still got half of this second round to uh, navigate here. As Dos Santos looks to try and avoid the big howitzers here. Yeah, there was a long, hard, straight right hand to the body as well from Buatzi. And there he goes again, and uh, was that a dip at the knees? Well, he switched at this point, and yep. uh, that was where... Boazzi took uh, Marco Cialic out, that long looping right hand, that's what he'll be looking for here, believe you me. You're just moving him onto it, giving him that exit to his left hand side there and he's swinging that right hand over the top, yeah. landed twice. And he landed it again there and Dos Santos scurries into a corner. <laughs> and avoids the follow up right hand this time. That was the shot that I think yeah. actually buzzed uh, Dos Santos just before he opened up in the corner. He just dipped into uh, dipped into range, took his head off centre line and oh, then yeah. threw the left hook. And yeah, I thought it was a body shot, Chris. It was a right hand. It was, yeah. That was the shot that, uh, that followed up, wasn't it? Got him in the corner. What a brilliant division it is now, the light heavy it division is. in the UK, so good. It is a real kind of murderous row of, uh, of fighters at the top level. And I'd say to all of them, make your hay now because Canelo's coming. <laughs> oh, what a thought. Canelo's coming. Not rushing his work here. A little right hook around the back of the, uh, the jab there, it was nice. Clean there, right. no, he's managing to evade some of these. If there was one thing that you would 
say about Biasi's, uh, uh, Joshua Biasi's attacks on the ropes. A, a tiny bit predictable at this point still. Oh. Yeah, and the other thing, I think sometimes he, he throws everything as a... Yeah, Boatsy just needs to calm himself down there, and this is where Virgil Hunter will come in. Settle him down, but that might be the worst thing he could have done there, Dos Santos. Good body shot there from Joshua Boatsy. Yeah, that might just have wound Boatsy up. And he needs to get himself focused again. Body shot in there, Dos Santos. Three down. Here is round four. Joshua Boatsy in the predominantly black trunks. Against a very circumspect looking Dos Santos. And uh, he got caught there. Managed to stay upright. But I can tell you now, if he gets even a sniff that Dos Santos is badly hurt, he won't see out the round. He's an absolutely ruthless finisher. We've seen that, Boatsy, that is for sure. Having said that, Dos Santos has got up off the floor already. Shown his heart. And he certainly, as you said earlier, guys, he's certainly pretty slick moving around, trying to stay out of trouble. Oh, good left hand there from uh, Dos Santos as he just exited off the ropes, but he walked into a right. Good job from that. See. This is probably his best weapon, you know, as his solid jab. It's, yeah. it's like a ramrod that comes out so quickly as well. He has so much weight on it. Good straight right hand to the body. Well, he's not offering an awful lot at the moment, Dos Santos, but he is making Boatsy look a little bit one-dimensional and ordinary here. I'm sure some of those British light heavyweights we've been talking about will be saying to themselves at home, oh, I'd have got this fella out of there by now. Oh, that will be that. Don't bother counting that. Wow. That's what he does. Absolutely destructive power with that right hand, and he went down in such a manner that you knew that he could be in some distress here, and hopefully Daniel Dos Santos is OK because he took the full force of that and was out before he hit the canvas. This is the stoppage. Just gave him the level change and the feint to the body and then just came through the, with, the, with the right hand to the chin. And honestly, he was out before he hit the floor. Yeah. Absolutely out like a light before he hit the floor. One of the most savage knockouts. Wow. Completely gone. Wow. Wow. It was that little feint to the body that just sold it perfectly because it just brought the arms down, just drew the reaction, and then he stepped in. He see Boatsy's reaction oh, straight away when he realises yeah, yeah. what's happened there. Guy's got a heart of gold. Yeah, he has. What a punch that was. Do you know, angle-wise, it came in a little bit like with uh, with Pacquiao and Hatton, the way, it, the way it landed on the chin and kind of arced over and through. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Victor Lachlan calls a halt to this contest. The official time of the stoppage. Two minutes and 44 seconds of round number four. Your winner, by technical countout, he's still undefeated. And still, the WBA International Light Heavyweight Champion, Joshua Buatsi. Thank you.